physical penalty kill needed right here by Merrimack in the first period. Remember how many times they had to block shots and they were running around? Not here. They're just holding on, keeping them to the outside. Here's Matula coming in deep out in front. Redirected puck loose. Comes back. Stevens with the shot. Rebound. Score! Zach Aston Reese, a power play goal, and Northeastern's on the board. From center ice, we'll take it as Northeastern gets, again, the puck in with some speed on this one. 13th goal of the season for Zach Aston Reese, but it's going to be a scramble in front of the net. Here we go through the neutral zone. Speed generated. Back up Merrimack just a little bit. And now holding on, holding on, finding the man in front of the net, trying to get the puck to the middle of the ice. Reese, number 12, uh, Aston Reese is going to spin away from his man there. Does a really nice job. Snyderman also key on this play because he took two Merrimack defenders with him, and that opened up the right in front of the net for Aston Reese to pop in the goal off his backhand. There, John Gustafson. I do not see him on the bench. I do not see him on the ice. I see Hampus, but not John. All right, we'll keep an eye on that and try to get a report. Meantime, Biega coming into the left side. Shot save, rebound, score! Traffic in front. And there to bury it is Ben Christie. Christie will get his 11th goal of the season, his third on the power play. Beg your pardon, Henning will get the goal. That's number 12 for the freshman out of Port Moody, British Columbia. And after a goal and assist yesterday here, he gets the opportunity. This is what I'm talking about. Low to high, just get it to the net. Just get the puck to the net. Here comes Biega, who's going to put the puck on net. Henning gets to the back end. Nobody picks him up. It's too late as Garrett Cockrell tries to get his stick. I mean, there's, there's, ab I mean, there's absolutely no movement to take away the man or the stick there by Cockrell. Too much time in front of the net. Here it plays it. Chipped up ahead, Henning trying to make something happen. He's got Tibbet going in as well. Tibbet scores! Oh, it looked like the puck went in after the save, but no goal. No goal. I think Witt catches this with his glove at the wow. last second there. Wow. What a pass. And what an opportunity for Merrimack to finish this too. Tibbet tries to tip it, redirect it in. Watch this little sauce pass coming up here. The sauce pass comes in. Watch the glove. Looks like he just gets the webbing on it right there and snaps it. It was the and stick I saw the going stick that in went in. Yeah, the, the overhead will show you that too. But watch the glove of Witt. He's going to reach over and he gets the webbing on it and the stick blade, the black stick blade, into the net. What a save by Clay Witt to keep this game and his season going. Available. And that type of quick redirection, tough for the goaltender sometimes to pick up. But again, Tiernan, very square, very set. Very on. 51 saves for Tiernan that ties his career best. Just in that game at Lowell, right? That's right. Yeah, that game at Lowell on January 30th that they won. Sakura now firing in and a record setting save there for Tiernan. Tried to go in that, that seven hole, that body uh, you know, between the arm and the body right there. Sakura, who, who's really improved on his defensive awareness as the season gone on, like a lot of freshmen, had to figure it out, had to get himself. More involved in the play, away from the puck there. He tries going far side between blocker and body, but tearing in again, holding on to it. I can count on one hand where there have been re rebound opportunities off of Tiernan that have led to a second opportunity by Northeastern, who's been really, it's been Velcro. That plays, Singleton didn't get too tight to him. He gives himself room, that kind of hover ability in the middle of the ice area there, gives himself at least an opportunity to get that pass. Northeastern with the puck. In the offensive zone once again, Benning wrist shot, Tiernan save. He waits a moment to and see where it is and he gets let, the whistle. Let's watch this save. I don't know if we can get the overhead look at it or not, but watch the footwork and the positioning of Tiernan here. He comes off the post, he follows it, goes behind him, and as he's going to come out, he's already battling through right there. And look at how he's set. That body is excellent positioning. The overhead here, this is going to be a good look. He's at left, he's going to power right. He's out, excellent top of crease. That is textbook net minding right there. Good luck, guys. Merrimack gaining the line now. Christie getting it over to the right side. Save, puck, goal. score! Tibbet, a power play goal. They will review, That's Northeastern will argue, but at the moment, the game ends in double overtime, and Merrimack punches its way through to the quarterfinals if the goal stands.
Tom, I thought I saw it go across the line, and I think the overhead will show it clearly. Good officiating position there. Down below the goal. Let's go right to the overhead. Clay Witt's out to the left. Comes off his right pad. Yes, that's, oh. Whoa. Does that cleanly, cl or, uh, completely cross the Remember, line. the entire puck must be over the line. That's too hard to tell from right there. Let's see if we can go back to the overhead and slow it down here. Slow it down. Stop it right there. Oh, my gosh. Remember, oh. the call on the ice was a goal. is a goal. It has to be conclusive evidence <laughs> to overturn that goal. And that is as close as it gets. Right here. No, a little more that right would there. Be the moment. Is there space? And you obviously can't see it with the white netting. You'd be looking for any white separation wow. between the line and the puck. My initial thought from here, the, and, and we're obviously at a different angle, but at center ice, I thought it was a goal. I thought it was clearly across the line. I mean, but there could be literally puck on the sliver of the red line there, and it's not 100% cross the line. Correct. But can they overturn this? This is the thing. If the official said, no, this is the call that I had, and this is the best they have here, oh, my gosh. I would oh rather be right gosh. here right now than in the video room. Let's see if we can get Oh, absolutely. You can see Off the save right made, in. and then he carried it back in. Aston Reese getting there. No, it's too late, that look right there. Now, the, the one player behind the net right here raises his arms, Tibbet, right, uh, but the stick, see, I, my, my, my reaction is that it's a goal. My but initial reaction was it was a goal. It's almost, I almost feel This might be a good I look, look right it. here. This might be. Uh. That's a goal. That's a goal. That's a goal from I that angle. Can we stop this one? Let's back this one up, fellas. One more time. Hold it if you can. A little more. Right. That to me is a. That's Whoa. a goal to me. I, right there with the stick clearly in the net, which is a fine again. It can be in the net, but as long as the puck doesn't. The, the, uh, I don't know. This one looks to me like it would determine goal review or goal upon review. Right. I mean, let's. This is an off-angle shot. I right. guess we need to address that, right. too, that Clay Witt will look None at it and say... None of these are direct angles. Right, no, but I'm also saying that the actual... How does this one get through Witt oh, yeah. here? Right. He made the save he, but, and, and carried it in. The bouncing puck away from him on the rebound that he didn't control. Headed netward with him. Last night's game ended with a review as they waited to see if Northeastern had scored before the Merrimack goal. Now they wait to see if the Merrimack goal... Oh will my. stand. And the entire arena right now, Northeastern literally waiting for a review to see if the season has ended. Let's try and go back to that corner angle one more time if we can. Yeah, this angle right here, and we'll stop it. I think this one clearly shows it. A little more. A little more. Stick right there. If I'm the official and I've called it in and I see that review, I would here think I would is. call it a goal. And here's, here's the, the call. call. It's a it's goal. A goal. The, the Merrimack College Warriors have upset the Northeastern Huskies with a pair of overtime victories here in the Hockey East playoffs.